The Hollywood Theater was actually built in the Hollywood District, which was named after the movie theater, not the other way around, and that is also a claim to fame, so it's the only district of a city in the U.S. named after a movie theater. Film Action Oregon, which is the company that I work for, uh, purchased the theater 11 years ago, I think in 97. Uh, right after the building next door burned down. So the theater was in danger of being torn down. Film Action Oregon purchased the building and proceeded to renovate it and just make it a lively community space again. As a nonprofit, the theater receives actually a lot of support through donations and through volunteer support. We recently had some designers who are working on putting together their own design business who offered to redesign this space for us. Prior to this, this had been one large, very empty room. Although originally it was meant to be this very like elegant space where people would get dressed up and go to the movies. The Hollywood Theater was built in 1926. It was built as the last theater in Portland that was both a vaudeville and movie theater. And in 26, that was the year before sound came to movies. So right now we're entering the dressing rooms that are backstage here at the Hollywood Theater. Most people are surprised to find that there are dressing rooms here, but the space was built as a vaudeville. So there were performers here who needed space to change and do their makeup and whatnot. Now we're standing backstage at the Hollywood Theater. And backstage is a space that most people don't get to see, but it has a lot of our history um, present in this space. Behind me, you'll see that the original Ben-Hur letters from when Ben-Hur played at the theater are still here. When the theater was originally built, there was an organ that used to play with the movies that raised and lowered from underground. Um, and in order to get to the organ pipes, you had to climb this huge ladder that leads upstairs to the organ loft and to the roof. Film has changed over the years, certainly, and of course now we just converted to digital. What you see back here are the remains of multiple generations of technology which we can use when we need to use it um, and tuck away when we're not using it. You also see all the letters that are used for the marquee. We're about to update a marquee, but the current marquee letters are all back here. Theaters were originally built very much like an opera house or a ballet house was, where you get dressed up, you go to this fancy event, and the idea of chewing food or drinking during a performance would have been considered very, very rude. Originally, there was no vending in the space at all. The downstairs was completely open. And then the concession stand got built out. We've since added a beer and wine selection, as well as pizza food selection. So right now we're standing in the main auditorium, which is the ground floor auditorium of the theater. This originally was a 1500 seat auditorium um, and upstairs was a balcony. Right now this auditorium seats 384 people, so it definitely was chopped up. We've done a ton of renovations in this space this last year, um, including new chairs. The Hollywood Theater to me has become sort of a, um, a touchstone for the change that's happening in the media world. You know, what is a theater in today's day and age when people can watch just about anything at home on their own technology? So we started offering things that are perhaps more interactive, things like B-Movie Bingo, where we play films that everybody loves and hates at the same time. We offer um, Heckle Vision, where people can text in comments to films and see them on the screen. So just creating this experience in a theater that's a little bit different than what you might see otherwise. Theater has changed and become part of sort of the archetype of Portland, this non-profit movie theater offering sort of eccentric programming and uh, doing a lot of film premieres and things for local Portland filmmakers. And so for me, it's very much about just being part of sort of the pulse and the change of what's happening in the, the filmmaking world here in Portland.